We are here with Carlos Benavides, uh, Minister of Tourism for Costa Rica. Well, welcome, Carlos. Hi, I'm happy to be here. Uh, you, uh, when did you arrive in Norway? I came on uh, last weekend on Sunday. You have been enjoying visiting the country all that time. Yeah, I really. I uh, I never thought Norway was just like this. I, I mean, I I think Oslo is a wonderful city. It's so green. I'm very impressed. Well, I'm jealous. We've been uh, here, of course, enjoying the the first international ecotourism conference and uh, the opportunity to meet you today. But there you are enjoying this country that uh, we just we just met with a ecotourism Norway uh, representative, and and they're telling us they're just getting formed first time. Uh, but this is ecotourism, the country, isn't it? Yeah, I think it, it is. Uh we all, I think, are enjoying the country and this magnificent event. Now, Costa Rica is also synonymous with ecotourism and sustainable tourism. Um, it has uh, certainly attracted a lot of uh, visitors, predominantly from North America, to enjoy your, your nature, your culture and heritage. Uh, tell us what you see ahead in the, in the coming years. What are your objectives uh, uh, while you are minister? Well, we are trying to grow uh, by thinking about precisely that market, the ecotourism market. Uh, Costa Rica, it's a small country, as you know. We only have um, 51,000 kilometers, square kilometers. That's all our territory. But we have 4% uh, of the biodiversity of the world. And um, more than the 30% of our territory are national parks or protected areas. So uh, we are moving in what we think we are good to do. That is having conservation, trying to motivate other countries in the world and exchange, uh, have policies of exchanging um, funds for our uh, um, production of oxygen. And uh, we think that we must grow uh, like uh, as a tourism destination, but specialized for those who really enjoy uh, that kind of policies. What do you see as, as the challenges that you will be addressing in the next 12, 24 months? Well, I think uh, maybe uh, growing and conservation at the same time. Mm. That balance, huh? That balance is always complicated. Developers are always pushing for you to leave them to develop as just as they want. Let me let me uh, share with the uh, our audience a couple of things. Of course, we've we met with Steve from Pro Parques, and then we learned that roughly uh, twenty five percent of your uh, national parks are now under their conservation program, uh, very much supported by the government. I had also heard from somebody from uh, UNESCO last year, who uh, World Heritage was asking me, Charlie, you know, we there's this um, developer who wants to open this lodge next to this World Heritage site, and we're not quite sure what to do. And I learned just to, the other day that the community shut them out after they got started. So. Uh, so the government, community are all working on this balance. How, how does this, do you visualize this working, this balance? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's absolutely necessary to work together. I mean, we just don't believe that the um, private sector could do it by, their, by themselves or the government pushing too hard. We're just trying to work all together, involving communities and, of course, local power. I mean... Uh, local governments, which has an enormous, a tremendous importance in the decisions of making the destinations enough uh, sustainable to be part of uh, what we want as a country. Do you have some guidelines for, if I'm an investor, can I pick up a brochure or go to some office and find out how you, you as uh, the country want me to invest in, uh, let's say, uh, hospitality or an attraction in Costa Rica? Well, we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, a an, an, um, special office to attract 
investments, and of course we at the mini in the ministry, we uh, we have a political to policy to to uh, to attract uh, investors. But once uh, they are they are in Costa Rica, the most important thing is make them know what our rules are, because we have certainly uh, let's say hard rules if you want to to build and if you want to to come to the coastal zone you can develop but but of course you have to follow simple but effective rules because we don't want to uh, to to become a new let's say mass uh, tourism place where everybody does what what they want so i think it's is 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 it's better to, to tell it honestly. We have certain rules if you want to invest. And um, could you uh, share with us a couple of the top rules uh, for if I, if I want to build a, uh, let's say, a hotel or a lodge of some sort? Well, uh, for instance, um, if, you, if you want to build in the beach or in front of the beach, you should know that um, our beach territories will never be private, will always be public. The, the first 50 meters in front of the beach will always be for everybody. And you have to have uh, public access always to the beaches. Um, we don't sell beach. We have concessions on the first and the second 150 meters. And, and we put the conditions. You can invest there easy. Uh, you can be uh, secure that your investment is it's, it's fine and it's going to be yours, but you have to follow certain rules. And uh, it depends also not only in the central government, but in the uh, uh, local government. So you, you, you will know uh, how you have to build or uh, how, how tall you can do your building. And that's, that's one of the, uh, the things that are being protecting us to, uh, to create, let's say, uh, kind of big city in front of the beach that we, we just don't want. It's just an example. Right, right. Now, you, you have a lot of North Americans, Americans in particular, visiting. Which other markets are you reaching out to now, international markets? Well, European market is very important for us. Certainly, more than 50% uh, of our visitors come from um, uh, North America, U.S. and, and Canada. But uh, Europeans are, are coming more and more. Now we have more direct flights, especially from Spain direct flights uh, from uh, Madrid to San Jose, mm. but also uh, uh, from uh, Germany and Netherlands, and uh, well, a couple, couple charters from, from some of other countries. Uh, now we start a charter flight from London to, uh, to Liberia, it's one of our airports uh, at the beach. But uh, we are trying to convince another uh, airline companies to uh, to put those connections we we need so we can bring more Europeans to our country. Speaking of airlines, uh, I love uh, the name Nature Air yeah. or your initiative Peace for Nature. These yes. are great labels that. Uh, reflect well on what you are doing with tourism in Costa Rica. Yes, the government is um, putting in practice this uh, new idea of uh, peace with nature, uh, the effort to, uh, um, to pay for the uh, uh, production of carbon, uh, which already Nature Air is doing. Uh, we think it's the correct way. To, uh, to protect not only Costa Rica, to protect our world. I think it will be a good commercial uh, policy also. And we'll try to, to bring some airlines telling them that part of what we are going to ask for them is to maintain our rainforest, our forest, to, for the production of oxygen and to, to, uh, and to go on the battle against production of carbon. Infrastructure-wise, 
uh, what, what are the plans for um, making sure you have the capacity uh, for air arrivals and uh, as there's more development, the roads and so forth, what's, what's uh, laid out in the future? Well, uh, given it uh, or participating uh, the private sector, you know, as, as any other Latin American country, we started having our airports just in the hands of the of, of the government, and that's not the you know the uh, the, the the good receipt. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we think we should uh, put it on private sector. We are um, now doing a new. Um, uh, contest to to give the concession of of our airport in Liberia uh, to the private to a private uh, enterprise, and uh, we think that will be better. That will be faster to to build what what we need and to to work and and, and, and grow just as as we want. Where are you finding uh, uh, most of your uh, investment coming from? Uh, which countries? Well, many countries, especially U.S., uh, Spain, they are investing very well, uh, mostly recently, and uh, also Germans and Canadians. Hmm. Yes. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, and um, we look forward to more and great things in sustainable tourism from Costa Rica. Oh, thank you very much for the opportunity and to tell everybody uh, what we're doing and that we the, we want them uh, in our country as eco-tourists. Well, I think uh, if they uh, have the time and can afford it, they want to come. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. Let's hope.